wonderful. Right, we're live. Uh, I'm live on Scotty McClue's Facebook page as well. So what about that? Excellent. Let's just see what's happening. So there we go. Tremendous. Yes, that seems to be working. So we'll leave that and see what happens. You're up early, sir. No, I'm always up early. We're just streaming early this morning. This is called the early bird. So uh, are you rushing out to change your gender? Well, I think I'd only uh, change my gender if I thought it would help get me a job in television. So there we are. That would be the only reason. I have no desire to change it. You know what I mean? Uh, dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do every day. Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very good morning to you. I see. There we go. Somebody's come and joined us on the Facebook page. Is that not amazing? <laughs> we love it. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you to John Michael for following what a thoroughly decent human thing to do. There we have it. Tremendous stuff. Now then, who else have we got here? Uh, thank you for following everybody. Tremendous. Uh, remember, you can also join me on TikTok at Scotty McClue. There we go. And uh, get following as soon as you come on. I think 40 years of public service is reasonable to request that you follow, isn't it? Smashing Bonnet, do you like that one, Jay? Dinky do to you, I say. Now, a lot of you will be rushing out to work. So there you go. Let me know if you can hear me on the old uh, Facebook page. And uh, let me know what's happening there. Fantastic. This is an experiment, you see. We're always doing an experiment. You've got to do it, haven't you? Thank you to Lionel for following. Very much appreciated. Guys, we've got the trusty tea this morning. There we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Errol Grey. I can recommend it. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Jay. Very much appreciated. And Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. And we're with you this morning. Hello, how's your morning? A good one, Jay? Yes. Once we've uh, done the stream, we'll probably pop down for a little bit of breakfast at McClue Towers. There we are. You used to be a marine. Oh, empire. My goodness me. Uh, now, who else have we got here? A couple of people watching us. I don't know if you can hear us all right on the Facebook. Send us a message and let us know what's happened. There's the comments. So I'll just say good morning and welcome. Uh, good morning and welcome. Welcome, uh, Dinky Doo. We'll pop that in as well. Very important. There we are. Good morning, welcome, Dinky Doo. So I'm going to just pop that in, guys, and that should be there for everybody. Tremendous. That's what we like. Uh, now let me know if you can hear and see us on the uh, on the old Facebook channel. That would be just terrific. Fantastic stuff. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Juicy. Very much appreciated. Always lovely to have so many beautiful people with us. First thing in the morning. If you get following, I'll give you a shout out. Now, can everybody start tapping the phone? Here is my phone. And apparently, if you tap, 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 um, it lets everybody know that we're on live. And I've already got 1,000 900 likes so get tapping guys as soon as you possibly can that would be appreciated now who else have we got here uh, M's just joined us so good to have you with us and a very very good morning wonderful stuff that's what we like get following guys as soon as you possibly can uh, do you remember we fat Bob was wondering if he's still to the fore. I do remember we fat Bob G. Um, I haven't spoken to him for, well, since the Scots FM days. I suppose that's about 25 years ago or something like that. Maybe, well, in fact, 26 years ago, yes. No, I wasn't spoken to we fat Bob for about 25 years, so I couldn't tell you anything about him. 
As a thank you for my beautiful red rose. Lovely, lovely, very, very kind of you. You've just got yourself a badge. Amazing spirit, says Azzy. Azzy, what a beautiful thing to say. You are actually right. I've been told that before. Somebody said, Scotty, you have some spirit. Is that not uh, a lovely thing to say? I think so. There we are. Thank you for following, Azzy. Lovely to have you with us. What about your own spirit? Where are you from? You're obviously a very deep person. There we are. Where do you buy your hats? Oh, a variety of places. I get uh, one of my favorite bonnet comes from Hogs of Fife. Guys, I've got 5,000 likes. How beautiful are you people? Just amazing. Tremendous. Thank you very much indeed. I cannot believe it. Uh, there we are. I'm from Leeds. Ah, that's it. I know Leeds very well. I can remember a beautiful, cold, clear winter's day. And I came up the M1 it would be. And you just see, I came off at the interchange, and you just see Leeds laid out before you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Lovely, lovely thing I say to you. How are the pet haggis this morning? Oh, the pet haggis are wonderful. They uh, they have to go for slaughter uh, in January. So there you are. You're welcome. Robert De Bruce, lovely to have you with us. What's your hometown, Scotty? Well, if you scroll down through the TikTok videos, and they're all there for you, made with love, and uh, they're there for your education, edification, enjoyment, and delight, and your entertainment. Yes, edification, enjoyment, entertainment, and delight. And uh, you'll see I've done one from where I'm really from. Because there was a wee bit of controversy. I mean, it very much uh, made up controversy. And uh, a poor lady was involved in it at Buckingham Palace. And um, it caused what we call in Scotland a stushy. So I made it clear where I'm actually from. Your eyes, they're beautiful. Just stare. What a lovely thing to say. How are you doing, my friend, all the way from Ohio? There we are. Uh, my father met her during the war. Greenock, yes. But then originally, you see, if you go back and you trace my ancestry, we go way, way back to the, uh, oh, the 8th century, I think, probably we can trace it back to. There we are. Thank you for my beautiful... Red Rose, Atsy. You're very kind. Hello, says Archive of Roots. Hello, Archive of Roots. How lovely of you to join us. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm just thoroughly enjoying the fact that we are live and uh, we've got people coming and joining us. Is that not just amazing? There we are. Could you say my name since you have a great accent? Your name is... Silas, I would say. Silas Cotton. Uh, good to see you back, Scotty, the voice of truth, regardless of topic. Jason, you're 100% correct. We're not tied by topics. Everyone said, oh, for goodness sake, get your topics. Otherwise, it'll fall apart. What a lot of rubbish they talked. Do you speak Gaelic? Archive of Roots. Can I say to you, Kamraha u maha ha kama, falci falci, ki da mille falci, don TikTok, I guess, Facebook, we, I guess, uh, Scotchach McClurch, sure. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Silas. Thank you, Day of the Idea. I love the handle. Every day should be a Day of the Idea. Guys, can I say something to you? Watch for people who are very successful in the world, particularly though in the UK. And they may well have watched, listened to, or been personally advised by Scotty McClure. Now there's a thought. Success. I've been very blessed. Uh, Jim Fergie Ferguson, good morning, Scotty Dinky Doo. What year did you start in radio, Scotty? Well, I set up my first radio station when I was nine, Jim. 
So that would be uh, 1965, uh, you know, which is, uh, how long ago is that now? There we are, 57 years. Amazing. But uh, no, officially, I didn't start in radio. I set up a radio station called Central FM, 1989. We launched it in 1990. Thank you, this archive of roots. Not at all. We love it. Hello, my friend, Optical Delusion. How wonderful to have you with us and Dinky Do. What are your opinions on the legislation of cannabis? Well, I think there's worse things out there, like alcohol, but cannabis is not legal in this country. And um, I don't think it will be, although I think it's madness that the government don't get the income from it. The crims do. So the crims are getting fat on drug money when the government could be getting fat on drug money. And you'd be able to go into the news agent and say, could I have uh, 20 ready-made spliffs, please? Thank you. And they say, yeah, that'll be uh, £2.80. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so there we have it. Good morning. Good morning, Patterson. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. There we are. Patterson, Carol, or Carol Patterson. Uh, your spirit is amazing. Azzy, what are you seeing? Do tell me. Do you not take a dram? Haven't taken a dram for seven years, Jay. And the only reason I gave it up was because I wanted to drive at any time of the night or day. And I didn't want dictated to by alcohol. Because in the United Kingdom, if you are even, you know, a, a, a milligram over the limit, you become a criminal. And nowadays, it's very, very, very disapproved of. Um, and uh, you probably lose your job and all sorts of things. So we just chucked it. Uh, and that was that. And in fact, we chucked it on Christmas Day. Uh, so that wasn't bad, was it? Because I was trying to calculate... Um, hours and units and I thought, you know what? Stuff this and uh, because it actually doesn't do you any good. I once said to a doctor friend is there any value in alcohol at all? Uh, you know, and he went absolutely zero. He said the only thing it does act is a social de-inhibitor and I thought, well I don't actually need that I'm de-inhibited enough without all that, I can tell you. So there you are. So lovely to be with you all this morning. Good morning to our Facebookers who have just joined us. There we are. Now then, have you got plans for Christmas Day? Oh, optical delusion. Massive plans. Mind you, we have a lovely thing in Scotland. And that, hang on, just get rid of a wee troll here. We'll have a lovely saying in Scotland. And that is um, the best laid plans of mice and men gan aft a glee. Right? So in other words, you can plan something down to the last second and it can all go pear-shaped. Guys, I've got 6,000 likes. This is just incredible. I thank you. What a... Why did the Scottish regiments refuse to serve in the Falklands? They didn't, as far as I know. The Scots guards were very prominent in the Falklands. There you are, Tumble Down Mountain. There we are. So I don't know where you got that rubbish from, Slee or Wolf. I think you need to go back and get checking up again. 1707, says Brad. That's when we uh, surrendered our chips. Can you please say good morning to my wife, Lorna? Jay, of course I can. Lorna, a very good morning from me, Scotty McClue, and from everyone on TikTok and Facebook. Yes, indeed, and not just in one country, in all countries of the world. How's the weather in Scotland? Quite mild this morning. And maybe get the car washed. I, I like to wash the car twice a year if possible, even if it needs it or not. You know what I mean? Oi, 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 use a 663. So there we are. So a very good morning to Lorna and Dinky Doo. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. 
Used to love listening to you on radio. Glad I found you on here. Day of the day. There's some good radio stuff in the uh, TikTok videos. Thanks very much, sir. Not at all, Jay. Good morning. Absolutely. Everybody say good morning to Lord and I. Guys, can you follow me as soon as you possibly can? Very, very important that we get as many followers as possible. Uh, nope, 1707 was when England and Scotland became brothers in arms. Well, I think you don't know anything about the background to the Union. It was very forced bribery, corruption, skullduggery, jiggery pokery, built on sand, not fair, not right. We had to seriously devalue our economy, you know, and uh, brothers in arms. What about the 15 and the 45 risings? What about the Highland clearances, the clearances of the land? What about the burning out the Highlanders? What about the banning of Gaelic and the banning of Wearing Tartan and the banning of the bagpipes? How's that for brothers in arms? There we are, Union Forever, says Larry. Larry, you're completely off your head. You need to look into it and ask yourself, post-Brexit, why would you ever want to be associated? Can you wish my sister Julie a happy birthday? There we are, absolutely tell her to keep her hand on her hipney. Adam, thank you for my red rose. What a lovely thing to say. What about sunshine? What about rain? Oh, absolutely. You can't beat a bit of sunshine and rain. Colorado Springs, says Santa Claus. Howdy, brother. Howdy, Colorado. Dinky do, I say to you. Do you know what the open eye is? Yes, there's the open eyes. Okay, this guy came in with a self of an argument and it crumbled under facts. Oh, he's gone. Optical delusion. A half wit. The uh, clearances were so sad, very sad. Uh, so there we are. A lot done under force. I'll give them brothers in arms. <laughs> no, Scotland and Wales joined in 1707 by free will. Brad, are you bananas? Free will, do you mean bribery of the aristocracy? That kind of free will. Uh, the wonderful Neil Gillis. Top of the morning to you, young man. Top of the morning to you, Neil Gillis. One of our finest musicians. There we are. Now, you forgot the planters been sent to Northern Ireland. Yes. Do you prefer kebabs or chips? I always have chips with a kebab. So I would say both. What do you think about the new world order? Well, it will come in, somebody said, and will last about three and a half years. And then uh, God will punish the evil ones. So there you have it. Now, have you seen how Baltic it is in America? It's got it. Oh, seen it. Very cold. Now, what's it called? It's called a something bomb. A weather bomb. I tell you, dinky do. There's Adam. How have you? Uh, I'll check your information again. Yes, yes, Louise. Yes, you check out that information very carefully. Indeed. So there we are. Who have we got? Uh, Larry, you need to stop mentioning names or you need to go. Um, it lasts about three and a half years and then there'll be a nuclear war. Well, Brad, there wouldn't be any point in that, uh, you know, because uh, people need the world to work properly. What we might have to do is get short of the green nonsense because the planet's going to be warming anyway and not a thing can be done about that. A few cow farts, a wee diesel car, no, 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 don't kid us. Morning from Belfast. How lovely to have you with us from Belfast. I went into the pub in Belfast and I said to the barmaid, do you serve shorts? She said, we serve all the big companies round here. So there you are. Who are you paid by, says Larry? I'm paid by myself, Larry. So there you are. And uh, people send me gifts on TikTok. Uh, best fish and chips uh, on the Western Road, Byers Road. There we are, dinky dear. Fuels the brains at Glasgow Uni. Well, Michael, I know it well. I've had my own brain fueled at Glasgow Uni. Oh, geez, nothing can stop global warming. 
No, of course it can't. My goodness me. You know, I mean, it's people kidding themselves. They, Stop these cows farting! The earth's getting a wee bit warm. Oh, the cows have all stopped farting. That's brilliant. Oh, we're all running about in hydrogen cars. That's brilliant. Steady, steady on, I say to you. There we are. It just takes a madman who wants to take people with him when he goes to the Golden Gates. Well, yes, Brad, but we need to keep the madman off the buttons. So if a madman pushes the button, lots of people check it out big style. All right? So you just forget that. It's a bit like poor old Churchill. During the war, he was shouting commands and get me the admiralty and all that stuff. And all the time, General Eisenhower was running the show behind his back. Uh, so there, morning, Scotty. Merry Christmas. Alistair, good morning and a very Merry Christmas to you. And hopefully we'll be maybe seeing you sometime in the new year when the better weather comes in. And I send you... I send you love and blessings at this time of year to you and to Junior and to the family. You stay fabulous, Alistair. That's what it's all about. And um, It's the oil rigs and the big companies polluting the earth. Well, no, only real. I don't think it actually is. There's uh, billions and billions of fossil fuels. <clears throat> None of us should be paying through the nose for uh, power. Uh, none of us should be held to ransom. There should be choices out there. You can burn wood. You can burn coal. You can have an oil burning stove. You can have oil burning heating. You can have gas heating. You can have uh, wood burning heating. You can have biomass burning heating. You can have cows farting, you can have diesel engines, you could have generators, get a big gardener going, you can have windmills, all that stuff. People have stopped from doing that because somebody wants to steal your pennies. All that sort of stuff. Good morning and welcome everybody. If people stopped eating cows, there'd be no cow farts. Yes, but Neil, can I tell you, that the vegetarians are much bigger producers of methane than the carnivores. So there you have it. So um, you have, do have a point, the only real, but it's not the big point. Uh, not a single served in the Falklands. Uh, Slay Wolf, check out the Scots Guards Tumble Down Mountain. All right, get your act together. Uh, Slay Wolf talking nonsense, just ignore him. Mince and Tatties tonight, I can't wait. And then all the Scottish sailors as well. Mince and Tatties tonight, can't wait. Are you a fan? Am I a fan of Mince and Tatties? Gee, that's like asking what bears do when they're in the woods. My goodness me, good morning, good morning every day. That's fine. It's the people. Good point, Larry. There you are. And uh, Louise, you're quite right. Uh, this guy is far from an expert. I can tell you, if you want to know anything about anything really, you can ask Scotty McClue. If I don't know, I'll ask the nations. And the nations will tell us. So there we have it. Fantastic. Uh, lovely to be with you, Facebookers, this morning. Uh, we couldn't get on to another site, so we popped on here. Jim says, do you think Trump will get back in power? Your opinion, Scotty? I think Trump should get back in power because I think America is rudderless at the moment and they're paying the price for Trump not being there. Now, I know there's a lot, there'll be a lot of anti-Trumps out there, but they're trying to get Trump on something because he knows how the world works and he's trying to stop it from being taken over by the wrong people. So uh, I would back Trump if I were you. Is the nearest America's got to a monarch? Yes, indeed. Now, who have we got here? Oh, I love this. Some comments in this live were filtered to protect the community's experience. So every half-witted idiot troll 
is getting banned at the gates. Uh, wonderful stuff. Brilliant. Thank you, the only real. Santa's elves have been sent gifts here. Morning, says Lolly. Lolly loves Las Vegas. More like stop the fossil fuel companies, silly man. No, Baba. Baba, Baba. Silly, silly Baba. Silly women, are you? Guys, I'll tell you what else we need to stop doing. We need to stop women from being anti-men. You know, all this idea of trying to make men out to be baddies and making men out to be predatorial, all that stuff. This is, this you're, you're having your head stuffed with this nonsense. So try and ignore it and get loved up. Men and women getting loved up big style. There we are. Slave Wolf, I never claim to be an expert. I claim to be informed, but you're not informed, Slave Wolf. You're giving out false guff. Nothing informed about that. If it isn't Scottish, it's crap, says Michael. Michael, a bit harsh. You're a bit harsh. There we are. Now, who have we got? There's, there's Neil uh, slagging off uh, President Trump. But that's all right. He doesn't know him, so it's not a problem. There we are. He speaks very highly of you, Neil. Uh, encourage more viewers. The SNP, Scotty. Well, you see, Scottish independence is much bigger than any party. I'm not what you'd call a nationalist or a separatist, but I would like to see Scotland hang on to its income, keep all its own money, and run its own affairs. But that's not necessarily by one political party or by one individual. Right, can everybody get sharing, please? <coughs> now, who have we got here? Dinky do, Scotty boy. Uh, dinky do to you. Absolutely, yes. Lovely to have you with us. See, guys, start working things out for yourself. Start wakening up. Start going anti woke. Right? Because this woke is very, very bad for every single one of us. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Louise says to Slay Wolf, I'm just letting you know you've been greatly misinformed. Louise, you're very kind to him. I would have said he was a dafty. But there you have it. Now, who have we got here? Uh, SNP are insane scared freaks. Well, there's no evidence of that, Larry. So there you have it. Um, so again, uh, a statement with no truth. What a gentleman, says Optical Delusion. You're very kind. Hello from the great USA. Liberty Bell. Make America great again. Am I not right? Is Trump not the man? Guys, it's 8 o'clock. I can't believe it. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, my goodness me. If you're going for the 8 o'clock bus, you may have missed it. Guys, I need another 50 followers. Now, that's a big ask. Well, it's not a big ask after 40 years of public service in radio, television, newspapers, uh, TikTok, um, YouTube. Yes, get on the Scott McLean YouTube channel, Facebook, all the beautiful people on here. Good morning, Scotty. Liberty Bell. What's that in your head, mate? It's a Scotty McLean badge, mate. Uh, I'll show you one. Here it says, here, meat. That's the Scotty McClue badge for meats. Meats rates, Scotty McClue, dinky do. And when we get a million followers, which we should have now, then that's it. So there you are, Julian. That's what's on my head, meat. What's in your, what's in your head, meat? <laughs> Scotty, you're bam. Do you remember me? John, you're bam. Of course we remember you, you bam. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, oh my goodness, I've not heard your voice since I was a teenager listening to your late night show. Nat, how lovely. Welcome back. Welcome home to Scotty McClure and Dinky Doo. That's what we say. Now then, here we go. Let's get back to burning things that burn for energy. The third world's going to do it. Climate hoax. Yes, I mean, India and China. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, taking any of the green stuff seriously. So all these conferences and all that, 
complete waste of your time and energy and money. You know, I mean, the biggest waste of money was coming out of Europe for the UK and beggaring itself. Greetings, Scotty. Merry Christmas. Sir Robert Peel, the man that founded the Bobbies. You're the father of the Bobby. Yes, indeed, the Peelers. Uh, Dinky Screw. Uh, Scotty, you bam. John, you bam. Dinky do, Scotty boy. Dinky do, Barry. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. Now, Scotty, are you on a radio station this Christmas? Shane, I'm not. I haven't been on a radio station for two years. Uh, so there we have it. I was hoping to be on a radio station for Christmas because we're talking to some very big people. So there we have it. Um, although one said no yesterday. Uh, so there you are. Very interesting. Do you know why the Scottish children learn German and not Scottish Gaelic? Nicht Deutsche sprechen? Ich bin ein Auslander, wie ich verstehen. So there we have it. Uh, Trump isn't as bad as Biden. Well, I mean, for goodness sake, poor old Mr. Biden. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, you've got to. You've got to empathize with the man. But ask yourself, how much are you paying for a gallon of gas? That will give you an answer to Mr. Biden. Trump can't be bought and the establishment hate him. Well, you're absolutely right, dumpster. You know, they're trying to get him at the moment. But uh, I think they'll be whistling Dixie. Individual Scots served under the Irish banner. Scots guards, no Scots guards are fishing the Falklands. Slay a wolf. Give your head a wee wobble, son. And away and check the information. Tumble down mountain. The Scots guards. In fact, I know a very, very, very senior army officer who served in the Scots guards at Tumble down. So don't push it, stay a wolf. You need to go and start learning instead of talking cocoa. How many were found guilty? So there we are at the sheepdog trials. <laughs> very, very good. We like that. Uh, do you think there'll be a United Ireland the next 30 years? I think sooner than that, Anne. I was talking to a very senior lady who um, operates out of Dublin. And she said, I'll be absolutely honest with you, Scotty, I think it's only a matter of time. So there you are. But th there are already um, more Catholics in the north of Ireland than non-Catholics. That interesting. So there you have it. Never a dull moment. I ask you. Now, who have we got here? Uh, thanks, I'll be in touch very soon, says Alistair. No problem, Alistair. And certainly no rush. No obligation, dear boy. Uh, if the Queen shared her special pills, God rest her regal soul, the vegetarians would be fatless. Vegetarians can never be fatless because vegetables produce gas. There we are. Now, how are you today? I don't think you do. Hello, Scotty. Love the YouTube channel. Diker, yes. Everybody should check out Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. In fact, I need 10 subscribers right now. So why don't you go to Scotty McClue, Voice of the World, yes, Radio Talk Show. Scotty McClue, Voice of the World, Radio Talk Show on YouTube, and 10 of you. Subscribe right now. Sir McBean Pie, can you teach me to be like you? Of course I can. Can I tell you that if you look at very successful people today, there's every chance they've listened to, watched, or been personally advised by me, Scotty McClue. Isn't that interesting? Yes, because I've been blessed with a highly successful career. People must have got my back. People must have looked after me. Yes? So there we are. And if you get a knockback for a job, 
Remember, it wasn't for you because nobody there had your back. Yes? And I've looked after so many people properly over the years that one or two will come back and look after you. Mm. Thank you for my beautiful elves. T has sent me five beautiful elves. Is that not gorgeous? Uh, so there we are. So the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. And of course, TikTok. Get following. Look at all the videos. They're there for you. Information, education, entertainment. Things we are very, very short on in the world today. Look at your television. Scroll through it. See how much dumbing down is being done. Listen to radio for a bit and see what's new. Where's the excitement? Yeah? Where's the Scotty McClue show? Ask yourselves that. There we have it. Dinky do, I say to you. Now then, Trump has backbone. I hope you agree. Of course, Jay. You couldn't not agree. Trump is outstanding. You know, look at what the man's doing. You know, that's why, that's one of the reasons that there's, the reset hasn't happened. Because Trump's in there making sure that he's looking after us all. He's looking after America. So there you go. And uh, once the reset happens, we'll have three and a half years of sheer evil. The beast will be upon us. Six, six, six. And then the Messiah will return and the earth will return. Fantastic. And that's, it's in the scriptures. So there you have it. So too, Scotty, Trump could sort out the war staff out. Jason, the reason there was no war when Trump was in is because they wouldn't do it with him. And he would have sorted it out right away. That's why he's not there, because certain people want it. You know, there's certain people out there wanting it. Yes, Scotty, take no nonsense. Day of the idea. From somebody like you, these are such wise words. I can tell by your handle, you are the height of wisdom. Guys, can you believe it? I've got 6,600 likes. And we're on another platform. We're on Facebook as well. It's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. I need another 50 followers. So if you're watching right now, please make sure you've followed. It only means a tiny little plus click up the top left. Follow Scotty McClue. Because why would you not? Scotty always makes my day. John, you bam. You make other people's day. Why do you have lizard eyes? Because I'm actually a salamander. There we are. And um, I, I identified as a salamander at birth. Uh, you know? So, so that's why. Uh, thoughts on Scottish independence? Um, yes, I mean, Scotland should be independent. It's been independent for thousands of years. And it's only been attached to England for 313 years. Uh, 315 years now, is that right? Uh, you're not an expert in Trump. Oh, I am, yes, Liberty Bell. Very much so. So there you are, very much an expert. So there we have it, dinky do. Uh, Jay's talking about heavy petting. How very interesting. Guys, can everybody get following, please? I need 50 followers. Uh, there's Diker saying chocolate is wonderful. Is that right? Yes, chocolate is wonderful. I think he's saying it's Irish for chocolate is wonderful. Yes, but don't eat too much of it. People tend to OD on chocolate at Christmas time, Dyker. Uh, Scotty, you bam. <laughs> John, you bam. Did you do, Scotty boy? There we are. At the end of the day, Scotland deserves to be treated fairly. Of course it does. I mean, saying they're not going to give it a referendum. It shouldn't be up to them. It's a 50-50 decision. There we are. Nothing wrong with a referendum. I have to prefer Trump than any other of the recent politicians. They didn't want to... Oh, yes. Listen. 
Look at all the huge, huge anti-Trump stuff out there. What does that tell you? What does that tell the world? Yes, have a look at that. Haggis for breakfast, you wee Scotty man. I, I had haggis for breakfast yesterday, along with black pudding and lawn sausage and a couple of links and some tea and toast. Stop! Stop! Fantastic, I said you. Scotland said no. No, Scotland said no eight years ago, pre-Brexit. Brexit has completely economically annihilated the UK. We lost 250 billion quid and they're trying to get it back by refusing to pay the nurses and refusing to, you know, give the nurses an increase in pay and the rail workers an increase in pay and the ambulance workers an increase in pay and the teachers an increase in pay and the civil servants an increase in pay apart from a derisory, derisory thing. I mean, you've got inflation running at 11%, I would say. It might even go to 12% before people sober up. And um, so you need to, if you're offering 3 or 4%, you'd actually need to offer about 15 or 16% to public sector workers. Now, they've got the money to do it, with plenty of money. It would cost about £12 billion. Pounds. In the time that we had um, the Prime Minister in, uh, what was her name again? The lady one was in for a few days. Um, it cost us £90 billion. Pounds. Brexit cost us £250 billion. Pounds. The um, pandemic cost us a hundred and fifty billion. So you're up to about five hundred billion pounds wasted by the present government. Wasted. Yes, doing the swanee. So if you've if you've wasted, well we could take a bit out for the pandemic. Let's call it four hundred billion wasted. And twelve billion would give every public sector worker an inflation-proof increase in wages. So does that not put things in perspective? There we are, fantastic. So Scotland only said no because also the nationalists need to 100% adopt the monarch, get behind the monarch as our, uh, our first lord, as our head of state. Yes, indeed. So there we are, King Charles. Scott, hey, you always make my day. Uh, so there you are. Speak for yourself, says the owner. Oh, Shane, speak for yourself. Quite right, the only real. Uh, you're woke, pal. You can't admit what shambles the SNP. I mean, it's going, no, Shane, I'm not woke at all. I am awakened, pal. Okay, pal. So you need to sober up, pal. You're woke, Shane. You're completely woke. And that's why you're into all that nonsense. Scotland is all about trans rights. Try educating your kids. Uh, Mark, where are you talking from? What do you know about trans rights? So there you have it. Um, I, I don't know what the problem was. I don't know why they've brought in all that trans stuff because, uh, you know, trans people were quietly just transing away in the background. Uh, sweep, sweep. There you are. Shane, what nonsense are you talking? You're, you're so uninformed. I don't think it's even worth reading out your comments. There we are. What an uninformed person. Guys, I need another 50 followers. As soon as you can. Scotty, you bam. Please answer me. You have to remember me. John, I've answered you six times this morning. That's enough now. Scotty, do you have an open mind in all parties? Absolutely for it. I am not party political at all. In fact, I'm not even political. I'm apolitical. Yeah, but Brexit has uh, seriously, seriously damaged the UK. I predicted it in 2016. I've been saying this for six years, but one or two people started to poo-poo me, and then they've come with their tail very, very down between their legs. 
apologising and saying we should have listened to you, Scotty McClure. Rob D. Bruce, farewell and stay triumphant, man. Rob D. Bruce, farewell, wonderful, wonderful man. Lovely to have you with us. You stay triumphant, Rob De Bruce, and stay fabulous. There we are. What time have we got? Oh, my goodness. I've been up for 50 minutes. Guys, I need 50 followers. Right, well, I'll settle for 48 now. Neil M., thank you for my red rose. Individual Scots, Slay Wolf, you need to just stop posting rubbish. There we are. India produced more solar energy than any other country. Will you be here on Christmas Day? Hopefully. Are you a Rangers fan? Well, everyone is a Rangers fan to a greater or lesser extent. Even every Celtic fan is a Rangers fan to a greater or lesser extent. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the old firm. So to ask somebody, are you a Rangers fan? Who's not a Rangers fan? Do you see what I mean? How far behind in the comments? A wee bit. I literally wrote my master's thesis on the Irish involvement. You're incorrect. No, there was Irish involved on Shoesley Wolf. But uh, you need to check out Tumble Down Mountain. Uh, so there you are. Yes, indeed. The crags of Tumble Down Mountain. The Scots wrote a pipe tune. Had a pipe tune. Follow us. So there you are. So you need to go and tell the university that uh, you've written a lot of rubbish in your thesis. So there we are. Uh, hello, Merry Christmas. I'm not getting the tumble down thing. It's made. Falkland Islands, Jay. Look up Falkland Islands tumble down. All right. Scots Guards. Scottish involvement is very interesting. Oh, absolutely optical delusion. This is where Slayer Wolf is obviously getting his information from a lollipop stick or maybe a Christmas cracker. And he's saying, I'm shouting. <laughs> That's not, we're not shouting at all. This is the way I speak. What's your opinions on the predictions of Nostradamus? He's got a couple of things not too far off the mark, old Nostradamus. Yes, and I mean, the Bible is actually, you know, whether you're a, a, a Bible believer or not, the Bible will tell you what's happening. The mark of the beast is upon us. Yes, the Great Reset, 666, you know, and all the rest of it. And I think, uh, thank the Lord I found a Trump supporter. I thought I was alone. No, no. Peach and Stash, I see in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Trump is a god. So there you have it. And remember um, that really, I suppose, Britain is mama to America. We might bring you home to mama. Brexit was a big mistake. I voted to remain. Good for you, Rod. Happy Christmas, Scotty. And you, Rod, I was just thinking about you the other day and hoping you were okay because I hadn't heard from you for some time. Are you a soldier of Jesus Christ? Well, I think everyone is a soldier of God. And Christ is God's son. And we are marking his birth, his nature. So, um, you know, soldiers of Christ arise and put your armor on. You know? Uh, onward Christian soldiers. So I think everyone really is a soldier of God and all other great religions, uh, you know, have working around that. Do you see what I mean? Financially, it's in our best interest to become independent. Of course, it is the only real. All right, what we should say to Westminster is we won't go for full independence if we can keep every penny of our income and have full trade with anyone we like including the eu right that should be the deal and we won't actually leave you england in the lurch at your at your most desperate hour when you're struggling because of the mess you've made 
You see, Scotland doesn't really want to be suffering the fallout from England's mess. Uh, do you know much about William Red Cloak? Uh, I would say I know nothing. If you knew nothing, I would know marginally less about William Red Cloak. So there you are. Now, who else have we got? You kind of pick and choose when you feel like it's Sean. Of course you pick and choose. That's what democracy is supposed to be about. But be very careful because the people get the blame. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm going to have to dash. I need another 15 followers. So there we are. We've got a few minutes. Wait till we see. Two minutes. Uh, they definitely said no. Yeah, Slave Wolf. They said no in 2014. And remember, we lost 50% of the loyalist vote. So there you are. You're not wrong. We're not wrong, Vasish Sa. Uh, tell me about the wee car behind you. That was presented to me. I used to have one of these, and it's um, it's a Range Rover. So there you have it. Uh, and uh, I was presented with that scale model. Very lovely. Uh, who have we got? Marcus says, nice vote, SNP, yesterday. Depending on your point of view. You, sir, should lead the SNP. Well, I'm not political, you see, and I don't hold with any political party. I'm a common sense person, but I do think Scotland should be on its own fully economically because we seriously had to devalue our economy to go in with England. And uh, the, the, the union, there is no case for the union. That needs seriously revised. And as for Westminster telling Scotland they can't have a referendum, Sorry, you're not on, buddy. So there, the SNP called it a once-in-a-lifetime vote. No, they didn't, you see, Slave Wolf. You've got that wrong again. They talked about a once-in-a-generation, but there was nothing ever signed to that effect. Tell you that right now. Human beings are good. Human beings are beautiful. And so are animals. Yes, fantastic. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. I bid you all a good morning. I love you. ta -ra -la There we are. What an amazing morning. And to our beautiful, beautiful Facebookers, a very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's been good stuff. I'm still alive and kicking, says the wonderful Rod. Uh, Rod was the original wizard of the big switchboard an absolute legend and he was there right at the start of scotty mcclue's show on the radio he did the very first show and then about what two years two and a half years after that a wonderful man so there you are fantastic now then uh, i'm going to have to dash uh Facebookers will maybe pop up later for more of a chat now that we know we're here. I hope you could hear every word uh, and check that I've got all the settings right. And I say to every single one of you, thank you for joining us this morning. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Dinky-doo and ta-ta.